Right now, Maine State Police has exactly 75 unsolved murders on its books, men and women, in every corner of the state, from Fort Fairfield to Farmington. And the cases stretch all the way back to the 1950s. It's up to the detectives of the state's unsolved homicide unit to keep those cases alive in the hopes of catching the killers and bringing a sense of closure to the families. Those who died are much more than names on a list. They were parents, siblings, friends, and co-workers to people in this state. One of them was Maxine Batomsky. She was murdered at her home in Kittery in 1993. Nearly 30 years after her death, her grandchildren's fight for justice is entering a new phase. Welcome to New Center Maine at 530. I'm Chris Costa. I'm Zach Blanchard. Thanks for joining us. Tonight, there is a reward for information on Batomsky's death. It comes after state police just revealed new details about her case last month. And as New Center Maine's Rosalind Flaherty reports, family members hope it puts a new focus on catching the killer. Or anything that will help solve something like this. Seacoast Crime Stoppers hoping a new $10,000 reward will lead to an indictment and or arrest of a suspect in the unsolved murder of Maxine Batomsky. I think that when you say there's $10,000, you know, still aside for reward this case, it, it, it kind of shows, you know, that it's still so very important, you know, that we're willing to allocate um, this money towards it. The 73-year-old was found murdered in her Kittery home 29 years ago. Last month, Maine State Police said new DNA technology has allowed them to identify and interview a suspect. It has not led to an arrest or formal charges. The person who did this is, is a monster, and that person should be held accountable for what he did. It, it will not bring our, great, our grandmother back. Uh, it will not take the pain away. But it will give us the sense that at least there's been, there's been justice for our grandmother. Seacoast Crime Stoppers works with 16 communities, including Kittery. The organization says since 1983, it has received thousands of tips and has helped solve hundreds of crimes. Seacoast Crime Stoppers, you know, issues rewards at different levels for, you know, different types of crimes. All their, you know, donations that we get go directly to help solving crimes. It's completely anonymous. Portsmouth Police Detective Rochelle Jones, who is a Seacoast Crime Stoppers coordinator, says she was contacted by Batomsky's family about a reward. She brought it to the board and says it was approved. I think people are, are really in need. And I think, you know, that's just, that is a motivating factor. A motivating factor to help solve this unsolved murder. Rosalind Flaherty, New Center, Maine. If you have any information, you can visit Seacoast Crime Stoppers website to submit a tip, or you can call 439-1199. Potomsky's grandchildren hope this reward will give someone the incentive to come forward. When you dig a little deeper into crime trends in Maine, there are some positive signs. The Maine Department of Public Safety says crime overall dropped each year for the last nine years on record. In 2020, crime dropped by about 6% overall. And when you look at violent crime, that dipped nearly 5%. But when you look specifically at killings, the number did not change. Maine reported 22 killings in 2020 and 22 the year before. The Department of Public Safety reports five of those killings in 2020 were domestic violence related. On top of the pandemic's physical effects, it is taking a toll on our mental